Good evening, teacher. And Asomi, good evening. How are you? Hi. Good evening, teacher. Today is Friday. Hey, Nelson. Hi, teacher. Happy because it's Friday? Yes. <laughs> don't, don't you work tomorrow? Yes. I work. I work. Me too. Hmm. But the, not the whole day. Yes, whole day, teacher. All, the whole day. Yes. Oh. Recently, I finished uh, class. Mm -hmm. That's good. Okay, okay. Just wait for a little bit for your classmates. Okay, so it is 8.02 p.m. already. So continuing the conversation, come on, Nelson. Want to tell me, Walter, how are you? Hello, teacher, good evening. I'm fine, teacher. You're okay. Okay. What's your best part of the day at work? What is your best part of the day at work? Gabriela, what's your favorite part of the day? Mm, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe the Friday afternoon is more calm. It's more calm. Okay, mm -hmm. it's calmer. It's calmer. Calmer. Yeah, it's calmer than other days. But every day, every day, you know, no, no matter what day of the week it is, but what's your favorite part during every day, every day? In my case, teacher, uh, the environment of the Friday is different in general for me it's a good day friday in my I, case teacher excuse me excuse me continue <laughs> no no i feel okay. no but i mean guys Water. every so single missed... day every single day what is your favorite part in my case it's at noon uh, because yeah. because uh practice the jeans you go my to the gym? Yes, my friend, and at noon and always, I practice the jeans. Uh, so, so, uh, 45 minutes. For about, yeah. for about 45 minutes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that, that, that sounds amazing. I wish, I wish I had a regular life, you know, like being in an office, and then at noon, having two hours for lunch, going to the gym for an hour, and then having lunch. That would be good. But my life is not normal. So <laughs> I have to deal with that. Okay. Julia, good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Thank you. How are you? 
I'm a little bit better. I'm glad to hear that. How's your baby? Better also. That's great. Was it COVID? Yes, mm. it was flu. No, or just the flu? Yes, just flu. Okay, okay. Thank God, thank God. Okay, guys, let me do the attendance. Um, Make sure we do that part first before we go any farther. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Hmm, not here today. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Okay, Ana Selmi Chévez. Present teacher. Edwin Alexander Ayala de Razo. Present teacher. Thank you. Flor de Maria Carballo Ugarte. Not here today. Gabriel Ignacio Lara. Present. Good. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Thank you. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Julia Patricia Vázquez de Santos. I'm sorry, Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. <laughs> Present. I'm marrying you. <laughs> okay, Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. There she comes. And I said, Carla Veronica Vasquez de Rivas. <laughs> yes. Present. Present. <laughs> Thank you. Nelson Edgardo Sanchez Ramirez. Present Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Hmm. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Good evening, present. Thank you. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. I don't see you. Oh, yeah, 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 I see you. Okay. Okay. Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Pérez. Okay. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. Yeah. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. Thank you guys for being here on Friday. I know it's Friday and you don't want to do anything and the week is over, but thank you for taking the time to learn something else. Um, let's see, yesterday, before I go any further again, I was with Pamela. So tonight I'm staying with Roselena Salgado Serrano. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> good, good. Okay. So just keep that in mind. Okay. After the class, we stay 10 minutes. So, uh, yesterday we finished with a small part of the, uh, of the excerpt about uh, training, trained employees versus untrained employees. So just as a debate, what do you think? I mean, if you had a company, would you hire someone experienced or not experienced and then given uh, training them? What do you think? What is more expensive? Let's put it that way. What is more expensive to have trained employees? Good evening, teacher. Hey, Wilfredo. If, if, you, if you will compare when you hire some people to do some activities or process, it is, it is, um, it depends because you have, if you want to get result a short place, uh, for, uh, um, let me see, Puerto Plaza. Short period of time, uh-huh. Period, short periods. Mm -hmm. um, the, the best way that you have to, to, you have to do or you have to um, take will be is, um, let me see. Let me order my ideas. My idea. Uh, for me, it is. It is. 
it is more important and give some training to the people because you are going to be sure that the people are going to do, uh, they, they are going to get best results that many people or uh, other people that they don't have a good training to do some activities. Good, a clear example. Um, if you have a car and your car has some sounds, you know, and you cannot tell what is the sound or or the 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 engine is making some some vibration, right? And, and, and you don't know what it is. And your car is an expensive car. Yes. But let's say it's 2017. It's a 2017 Mazda. I don't know. Will you take your car to just any mechanic or will you look for references or experience on the mechanic? The best option for me could be go to the, uh, a mechanic that they, the, the mechanic has some uh, more experience. Okay. Okay, now. Um... Uh, it, uh, it is the venture, I'm, I'm sorry. But it is an old car. Mm -hmm. Maybe it could repair or fix any mechanics. It, it, uh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go back. Maybe any mechanic could repair it. Yes. Could repair any mechanic? No. Uh, any mechanic could repair it. Good job. Uh huh. But if if that the car it is a old car, but it is a a new car, for example. Mm, you you have to go to I, I don't know after repair shop that that mechanic has a, a enough uh, experience equipment and, and experience to equipment experience. equipment okay what about experience but specialized experience on that brand right because some some mechanics know about Toyota some others know about Mazda Hyundai you know. And, and it's, oh my God, right? So the same thing happens when you're hiring someone, but the second question will be, is it expensive to get a good mechanic? It is so expensive. It is very expensive. Because they, they, they receive their pay, pay, yeah, so, so. They charge? Charge, yes. But about their knowledge, they charge based on their knowledge. They charge for what they know. It's true. It's true. The more a mechanic knows, uh, the more he will charge, and that's the whole point, right? I mean, of being in a job. Um, another observed example could be a pharmacy employee, a pharmacy dependent, a, pharma a pharmacy clerk. A pharmacy clerk, someone who knows. Has, has this happened? Has this happened to you? you Teacher, uh -huh. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I don't know what the meaning. Clerk. Dependent. Um, um, the, the pharmacy employee. Yes. Uh, there are clerks in the pharmacies, there are clerks in the shopping uh, stores. You know, if you go to Prisma Moda, there are many clerks. Salespersons, they could be clerks. Someone who attends clients. Yes, yeah, the people that, that they, they attend uh, in the store. Uh huh. They attend the clients, okay. the customers. Okay. So, ah, okay. so a pharmacy clerk with knowledge is not easy to find, right? You know, I miss that. I miss that. When I used to go to Farmacia Las Americas for example, and they, there used to be an old lady knowing you, you were like, okay, I have a headache. What can I take? Oh, and they used to give you options, right? So they knew, you know what? I have this on my skin. What can I do? Oh, and they used to give you options as well. So knowledge is expensive. Yes. The same thing happens if you want to hire someone with a lot of experience. 
that's expensive. Right? Okay. It's, but, but it is more expensive to train people on different areas. This, we cannot compare um, training an agent, for example, in a call center. It's easy. It's easy to train a, an employee to take calls, to take calls. But to train to train someone for um, to be a supervisor in a in a in a call center is is more expensive. Okay, the same thing happens in your job, right? Is it is it expensive to train a secretary nowadays? But I mean, training that person to learn how to use the computer, to learn how to answer the phone. So many trainings to learn about customer service. Okay. And I'm having a, I have, I, I'm having a, in a project with a training in, in CEO, in SEAL, security, occupational security. Health occupational security, uh huh. Okay, I have in the program with Insa for okay, it's free. And yes. I, think, I think this time we have a many opportunities for learn many topics. That is true, and in fact, the Ministry of Labor. The Ministry of Labor is, is giving this training for free, right? But it's a must. I think it's every year. Is it every year, Selena, that you have to take the training for occupational health? Yes, it's every year. Hmm. Is health and security, no. Security and occupational health. Can you say it? That would be the right. Mm -hmm. Seguridad de salud ocupacional, right? Security and. Wow. Okay. Anyways, that's the idea. Um, so, going back to the point, if you have someone trained is more expensive, training someone could be more expensive depending on the on the position, right? For on example, the job position. For mm -hmm. example, at the company, when someone's new arrives, uh, the IT, the IT? The IT yeah. department? Mm -hmm. yeah, the IT department uh, give, give the training to the, to the new employee to use the system. Then someone uh, around no, yeah someone that is uh, involved in the in some activities that that the new personnel is going to uh, can I say develop yeah mm -hmm. no be in charge of oh being in charge of mm -hmm. being in charge of uh, he he or she explain how to how to do the things i think that uh, it's not uh, an expensive training for example when when the technicians i uh, have when we have a new a new equipment like cameras or or router switches and um, this the yeah oh my god the technical Oh my god! Yeah, the technical team. Yeah, the technical team uh, received the, the the training first. The training with the with the the manager in in charge of the department. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then they yeah. deliver the training to other employees. Mm -hmm. They they cascade the They're, training. There's occasions when people uh, comes to another country to to explain the use of the from some, they come from uh, another country. Yeah, they come from another country to to training uh, the, the, train. the the person the 
the technical, yeah, the technical department mm -hmm. to how to use the, the equipments. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah, that that's going on right now, a lot, a lot actually. Um, so, and that's today's topic. Actually, we have to create a list of trainings related to different jobs. Is basically what I've been doing with you. Remember the list of jobs that I sent you and I told you, yeah, go ahead, practice. Let me find the link because I missed it. Place it. I, I ask you to do that, you know, on your free time to study that, the occupations, what kind of trainings, describing that job, you know. You know, my first job, my first formal job was, um, let's say, or, or the most difficult task that I had to perform when I started uh, the technical career of industrial, what was it, engineering, industrial engineering. I'm talking to you about 2004, in 2004. I was in the administration of, of a small business. Well, it wasn't a small, it was a medium business. They import tires. So the thing is that when I arrived to the company, they didn't have, I mean, they had, um, um, oh, how do you say organigram in English? I forgot. Chart. Oh. Organizational <laughs> chart. They yeah. didn't have an organizational chart. Thank you, Anna. So they, they had the organizational chart, but the problem was that they didn't have a job description book. So for example, my boss, the general manager didn't know what Julano was doing. He used to go like, okay, do this, do that, do this, do that. But when it came to, for example, La Caja Chica, right? He didn't know who was in charge of La Caja Chica. So that was, oh my God, right? Um, so I, my first job, my first task in that company was to go around on each employee. So for one month, basically, or two, I can remember, I went to each one of the employees from the ones in La Pista, you know, where they put together your tire and everything. Okay, from the guy taking care of the of the um of the main door because it was in front of La Tiendona, right? Right in front of La Tiendona. It was a big tire company. So um I had to go one by one asking them, hey, look, uh, what do you do? It was funny at the beginning. I mean, and they used to go, what do you mean? What do I do? I just take care of the door. I I sweep the floor. I sweep the floor in front of the of the of the company. I answer questions to pedestrians. Training is the same as induction, Susana. Um what do you think, guys? We saw that. We saw that on the first class. <laughs> Come on. Is it the same training and induction? I think that no, an induction is some, something, uh, you know, how do you say, uh, superficial? <laughs> mm, no, we no. saw that. We saw that in oh the class. <laughs> it's on the presentation. About Many training. years ago. <laughs> no, last week. <laughs> <laughs> Last week. No, no, no. Um, an induction, induction. Susie, Susanna, is is part of, is, is 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 one type of training. An induction is one type of training, and it's the first training that you receive when you're a new employee. Your induction training. There, you have to make an important question. Excuse me. Where is the bathroom? Right. <laughs> Oh, Where many... is the cafeteria? Where's the cafeteria? <laughs> do I bring lunch? Do I bring lunch? Or do you do you coffee? 
<laughs> Will he give me at what? 10 a.m.? <laughs> uh huh. Who's my boss? <laughs> right? Who's my boss? Wow. There's, that's crazy. Okay, so going back, I have to build a book. I build a book of positions, you know. Now that's the first step. Then there's an, a second important book that you need to have in your company, and is the um, the internal procedures manual, the internal procedures manual, and that is something that you have to register in the Ministry of Labor, right? Because it dictates, it determines if you can fire or not someone based on the internal policies of the company. The Man, handbook here. The handbook. And you must, in case you didn't know, talking about the induction training, Susana, you, you must be given a little book or at least uh, a flyer, a flyer with all the information of the internal policies a of the procession. company. A what, Susana? Like processor, processor? Is a process, that's right, the manual of processes of the company. You must be given at least a flyer with all the details, right? What happens? Many, if... people, many people say I am in training, and in my in, in my work, you say induction. You don't use training. Um, okay, there's a miss understanding there's a misunderstanding on that concept then because induction is just the welcoming introducing the company introducing who's the boss your co-workers what's your position what's your computer your passwords your credentials your badge that's induction and then they may leave you working or they can tell you come back tomorrow we start at 7 a.m and that's it. Or you are talking about the nesting period. That is in in the, the call center industry, that's called the nesting period. And everybody, nesting period. Okay, you have a trial, a trial period to prove that you can do the job. And legally, legally in El Salvador is three months. Right? Can they fire you before these three months and pay you nothing? No, they pay you. You are in, in approval, but the company pays. Back in the days. <laughs> Back but in the There is a, pay, a payment teacher. There must be. Yeah. legally there must be a payment if you work yeah. one week two weeks a month they must pay you your time yes okay now back in the days when i was young when i started working this nobody used to respect that you know it's like okay i hired you one month later you know what i'm so sorry you don't fit you don't fit for this position. You are not the fit that we're looking for. And then they used to let you go without payment. Okay. So the point is, there you go. You don't fit in the position. Oh, I'm sorry, in the position. Um, the point is that um, it is important for you to know what you're going to do. And if someday, as a manager or as a boss, you need to let go people. You need to know the functions of that person living, right? Because a common, a common uh, behavior, there's another synonym for this word, a common practice. A common practice in small and medium businesses is to let go. For example, Juliana, you are fired. I mean, Julia, you are fired. You're fired. And then I, I, but, but you know what? I give you one week because we are in the middle of the, of the quincena, right? Okay. So you're going to wait one week 
to, pre to prepare your job and train Edwin. Edwin is going to replace you. You have to train Edwin. I'll pay you at the end of next week, but you have to train Edwin, okay? Is that okay? No. No? Because it's just one week and, uh, well, in my case, mm -hmm. I do a lot. <laughs> so in one week, I, I think I cannot train Edwin. You couldn't. I couldn't train yeah, I couldn't Edwin. Train Edwin. Hmm. You see? That, that's trouble right there. When I left that company, I had to go back every weekend. I mean, after my new job, which was my first call center, I had to go back to that company once a week, every Saturday to train personal, you know, like for two months, I think I did it without payment. And, but that's because they were my friends, you know, they were basically family members. So keep an eye on that. It is important. Uh, at this point, you, you should know a lot of um, professional jobs or occupations. Let's name professions or occupations really quick. What do you remember? What professions, what jobs do you remember? I don't remember. Come on. Dentist. What? A dentist. Dentist. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Dentist. Profession or occupation, guys? Profession. Profession. Okay. Bakery. Bakery is baker. A baker. Baker. Is occupation. Bakery is the business. Good. Uh huh. A uh, teacher. Teacher. Profession or occupation. Professional. It's a profession. Okay. Next. A tailor is occupation. A tailor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I remember the, the homework of my kid. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. What else? Lawyer. A lawyer. Driver. A teacher. Driver. Wait, wait, wait. Edwin, driver? Yes, is. It's an occupation, right? No. What do you think? Profession uh, or occupation? occupation? It's an occupation. occupation. You don't need to go to the university or study. Well, you have to learn to drive. Can you be uh, trained? Yes, if you go to the school, because there is a school for for driver, for driver like. Even if when you uh, when you try to get your license, you have mm -hmm. to study too. <laughs> it's true in, when when you gotta get Hernes, your license. Mm -hmm. In here in El Salvador, it's very difficult to get the, the driver's license. What? Yeah, many people think that. For me, it was easy, but many people think that it's very hard to get it. Oh, I, I had a friend. <laughs> I had a friend who was very good driving. He had his car, you know, but he never got licensed because of the theoretical exam. He was uh, he was goofy, man. He he made the test like five times until he gave up. He said, "I give up. I'm not gonna make it through this test, man." But it was funny when when police used to stop him. He was like, "No." I'm, I'm just driving here for a block, you know, I'm learning. He, he's teaching me. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh my God, an infraction, a ticket. Okay, driver, what else? Is correct a gardener, teacher? A gardener? Gardener? Gardener. Uh -huh. you, you eat the, gardener. You, I used oh, to gardener. I used to do that. Just so you said that gardener. No, gardener. No, no. Gardener. 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 Yeah. What is it? Occupation, occupation. or profession? A profession. It's an occupation. No, okay. occupation. <laughs> yeah. The shoemaker is occupation. Officer. Wait, wait. Two people. Nelson. A shoemaker. Shoemaker. It's, okay. It's occupation. It's an occupation. Okay. 
A seller, teacher. Doctor. Seller. Or salesman. A salesman? Vendedor? It's yeah. Seller. You can say salesman, saleswoman, salesperson. Okay. A salesperson. Okay. Fireman. A fireman. Firefighter. 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 Oh my God, it's so difficult. <laughs> Firefighter. It's an occupation. What is it? An occupation or a profession, guys? That's oh my God, I, I think that is profession. You go to the school for fighter. <laughs> it's an occupation it's an occupation but you need but you need formal training yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah okay that's another topic and that we haven't specific discussed credential yes teacher a spe a specific credential you need specific credentials to become a firefighter yes yeah. yes something that tells that you are prepared for that Okay, so let's keep going with that. I'll send you again the link about different uh, professions. What about farmer? Occupation, right? Farmer? Yes, occupation. Okay. What about a hairdresser? It's a profession. Hairdresser. Mm -hmm. Hairdresser. A hairdresser. Yes, it's a profession. Uh -huh. You need to go to school of hairdressers, right? The stylists. Yeah. Okay, good. So I got a mission for you. Um, it's 8.37. Yeah. 23 minutes. Okay. Let's do something. I'll, I just send you the list of different professions. Today's Today's um, goal is to create, hold on, where was it? You have two, two jobs right now. The first one within this 23 minutes is to create a conversation between two or three people, you know, at the job. And you need to tell the qualities in this conversation you know, for example, let me give you a quick example. Um, Rosalena, Julia, okay. Hey, Julia, um, you know, the boss, uh, Rosa, told me that uh, we need a new accountant. We need a new accountant. Um, but I don't know what, what skills an accountant should have. You know, I'm just, um, I'm just a salesperson, but he was telling me that he needs, she needs, she needs a, a new accountant. What, what should I look for? I'm looking for um, yeah, I have a girl, a, a girl. Can I say a girl? A girl. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Julia, any idea what the boss wants? Maybe a responsible person. Just, but it's an accountant. What skills Do, don't you think? We, why don't you ask her? I am I'm afraid I could get fired. You know, Rosalina is very upset all the time, so I don't want to get fired. Could you ask her what are the requirements for for that position for an accountant? Yeah, uh, Rosalina, <laughs> uh, could you please tell us what are the requires uh, for? To 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 for, for the for the new for the new accountant. Okay, I need a I need a man. Hey, I need that he have the ability with the numbers. Be rationality, rationality. Be rational. Be rational. Be rational. We are all rational. rational. <laughs> be rational analytic okay. oh um uh, oh my god that 
Uh, how can I say ordenado? Tidy. What? Tidy. Tidy. Mm -hmm. Ordenado. Mm -hmm. Organized. Okay. Oh, okay. I need that. He. He must he be. be he must be organized. Um. Mm, responsibility. Responsible. Responsible. Okay. Um. Trustworthy. Yes, trustworthy and oh my god, that I don't know. That, merit, merit, single, single. <laughs> okay, ugly, fat. No, handsome. <laughs> yeah, what, and it's what if what handsome, if have, tall? <laughs> no, really, guys, yeah. really young, old. Graduate, graduated, 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 uh -huh. graduated from the university. Oh, I need just a master with, yeah, I need a master in fina financial, financial. Wow. Oh my God, I find yeah. I'm a master in finance. Yeah, my master in finance, because he's going to be a good uh, accountant. <laughs> I don't know, that has, um, with, experience I'm with experience um, about um, wait boss I, boss boss i'm sorry boss how many what? years how many years of experience uh, how many years five five years five years of experience yes okay just one question how much will you pay what's the payment um two thousand two thousand dollars yes okay good thank you yes. thank you very much boss i'm sorry if, if i someone, if i ask julia yes yes, yes I, I will <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> Thank you, Julia. You're welcome. Don't get mad. <laughs> okay, good. So you see that that's an example. Now, one thing that I will ask you to do is be curious. I mean, be natural. In a, in a job environment, when you are trustworthy already, you know, you ask your boss, right? Hey, boss, what happened with La Maria? Why? Did you let her go or what happened? Was she stealing money and that's why you need a new accountant? Oh my God. Are you firing people, boss? All right. Okay. Be curious. Make a natural conversation. Okay. Okay. Now we're in advance. I don't want you to be writing everything. Just be creative. Just the way we did right here. Okay. Sorry, but I, I say, I, I I say respons responsibility, and responsible. you tell you tell me responsible. You need it because it's a characteristic. You need ah, someone okay. responsible. Okay. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. And trustworthy, right? Okay. 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 Good. So, super rápido. Lo que vamos a hacer es una conversación entre dos o tres personas, verdad? Pretendiendo buscar un puesto en el trabajo. No se claven con el contador. Puede ser cualquier otra posición. Un gerente, ¿por qué no? Se quedaron sin gerente. Ok. Puede ser un, un, un guardia de seguridad. ¿Qué querés en esa persona? ¿Crees que sea gordo, panzón? Ojo, las empresas de publicidad. ¿Qué buscan las empresas de publicidad hoy en día? No importa la posición que tengas. Si sos feo, no quedas. Teacher, but it is discrimination. In the no, pero, es que, pero nadie dice nada porque... Es el rubro de la empresa. Y lo primero en una empresa de publicidad es la... Eso es yes. lo que vende. Increíble. Ya he tenido yes. esos casos. Ok, so we're going to be in force. Work together. Teamwork. Ok, let's go. Ah, yes. 
Today yeah, is Friday. Is, today is Friday. But, but I, I don't know English. I need, <laughs> <laughs> I need to, to make an esforce. Actually, to... this group is very, is very good. I, I will expect I, I will expect a great conversation in this group. <laughs> Our teacher is going to be so good talking about something. Yeah, because the, the four of you speak very well. So do your best, okay? Thank you. Okay, thank okay. you, teacher. Hey, Jolie, it's real. What kind Besides. of what kind of profession do you want to talk about? Uh, but uh, but is is same in the interview and the uh, 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 no the interview but I, I guess that we have to talk about some profession or occupation for example um what do you do Nelson and what do you do Carl what do you do Carla and Gabriel mm, for me <laughs> me yes Okay, me is uh, I develop in the area of technician and telecommunication. But when I ask you, what do you do? I I understand that it is uh, about profession. Are you engineer? Mm. Are you technical? Yeah, I think it is occupation. I don't know. No, 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 no. When I when I ask you, what do you do? Mm -hmm. I guess uh, uh, I I talking about okay. profession. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. I understand. I get it. Yes. What about uh, you, Carla? Okay, in my case, I am local administration. I have different activi administrative activities. Administrative. Mm hmm um all relative to documents and late is on documents yeah what no i i i have a co-worker that she's a he she's um accountant in my company uh, okay but when in the morning sometimes she starts to talk about that all activity that, that she has to do during the day during the day but uh, my god i told it that it is it is sounds so boring but i i do different activities like like her yeah but i guess you have to 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 order some or all documents in your workplace yes in my case i have a relationship with all areas in the company because I am uh, give give you support for example to a customer invoice uh, or accounting book um, for example uh, the account accounting accounting department uh, have all all really re, re, have all okay. relate to accounting, but all that deal day, uh, I I should print. For example, when when they finish the accounting book, my responsibility is print all accounting book in a folio, accounting folios, for example. Yes. And when a project need to uh, uh, need uh, any invoice, uh, send me the information and I deal the invoice and print invoice, sending invoice to the customer. And I got the uh, the document for support that this uh, invoice. I finished that all activity uh, related related to 
to the invoice customer. Your, your, your date is so busy, Carlos. Ah, yes, it's very complicated. And, and what about the closing month? You had to, to do some reports about all the accounts in your company? Uh, for example, uh, to, this day was a busy day because in the office uh, we have a new co-worker. Uh, he needs a position? The person has. Uh, do you do your skill? Ah, the skill that the oh that, yes yeah. What another skill do you do you need in the in the design? And do you see the program uh, with ability? Okay, you need ability that that she or he has the has ability. Yes. Ability using the 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 program. The program. Yeah. What else? Oh, let me see. Do the question? <laughs> um, do you want that he or she speak, um, I don't know, another language? Ah, uh, yes, yes. Okay. For example, the company and our partners, and we had uh, another location uh, on the stair uh, speaking English. Okay, yes. do you need that the, that the assistant can speak English? Yes. Okay. I think that speak, uh, read and write. Excuse me? They speak, read, and write in English. <laughs> to speak. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Um, um, let me, let me. Okay, you need experience, you need the skills, you send the Microsoft. Uh, can you, or do you need uh, that the Is person it? have another skill using machines? No? Uh -huh. Using machines? No? Uh, no. No, okay. No, no. Okay. Um, it is important. Uh, it's you? No, not. No. Um, do you need that the person um, don't? Oh my god! For a, a do you need the person for a party part time or a or a oh my god? Uh, all time. <laughs> full time. Full time. Do you need? Yes. Yes. Okay. No part time. Do you need the, uh, the time? The com the company. Um, the right moments uh, the company we had a need the different schedule okay and what else what else another skill that you need tell me another skill that you need for the ah okay okay position oh no, yes let me let me choose. Then no. Okay, you need that have experience using graphic design. Yes. Uh, do you need that he or she? How the skills using the Microsoft Office? Uh, do you you need to have one year experience? Yes. The age is not important for you, yeah. but yeah. I think that not important because imagine arrive someone that have sixty. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think no, that not. we're going to. We're 
we need a person who works in telemarketing. So I need you to look for- and Do you prefer the, the gender and fame? Or... It, it, it doesn't or... matter if it's a female or a male. Uh, what I need to know is the, the person who really do the job very well, you know? So I need, I need someone who has to be a responsibility and has a knowledge and a little bit experience. He doesn't have a lot of experience because he can- How many years uh, do you, of the experience do you need the person? Uh, at, least, at least two years, please. Two years. Uh, Anderson, okay. Yes. Okay. Why do you, Thank you. What, yeah, about the, I'm sorry, the, Sandra. The ability, the person, the matter? In the yeah, specific skills. Yes, yes, yes. What yes, you, you have to look for someone who has a uh, two years experience and um, it doesn't have much of that. But I usually recommend that the person has to be responsible, you know. Requirement, 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 requirement. Uh, for telemarketing. Person? Okay, uh, now let's do, Anna, you talk to Julia and tell her that if you are already in the interview. Okay. Hi, Julia. Welcome. Hi. Our, hi. <laughs> Our manager of the uh, department of the marketing, he needs um, assistant of marketing. And Julia, how many years of the experience do you have in the in the marketing area? Well, I actually have a, between five and six years of experience. Okay. I I start um, working in marketing since I leave the university. I I I need. Uh, to do a quiz, quiz for the uh, height. Quiz. Quiz. Examine, Sandrita. Yes, yes. Is necessary quiz for height? Mm, I believe that, I, I am not sure that uh, in, in this, in this position required the specific knowledge about standards. I believe not. I, I believe that it's most important test, test about the, the evaluation of the level of the responsibility. Or personality. The, yeah, for yeah. the personality is very important because required to Handle, to get handle information. Handle situation for the handle situation. Yeah, it's, it's important to get information about, about that. And Julia, um, I need to know, uh, please talk about the last job. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, in my last job, I work as an assistant also, and I help my boss to make uh, or yeah to make uh, publicity and to prepare the events that the company needs. You know, for publicity, <laughs> um, I prepare also the um, scenario so they can they, they, the company can be recognized by a lot of people I remember we had an important event a car to travel oh, yeah. to When you're talking about the, the um, how do you say, the, the exam, you can practice the proofs, uh, preview, 
previo ay, antes de pues, la entrevista eh, antes de la entrevista eh, previo o sea es como como que vas a pasar un filtro antes de, de entrevistarlo cómo sería Nicole, you 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 select the. O sea, do you say all characteristics you need the graduate, you pay that experience, but you need this person make proofs. This person, ¿cómo sería? Hace bien las pruebas. Someone that have good results on the test. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. O sea, you need, you need establish. Um, ay, ¿cómo, cómo, pero lo puedo decir en español. O sea, que estableces procesos para que pase. Si, si cumple la prueba de Excel. Si sí pasa, si cumple el polígrafo, tal vez sí. O sea, como para que lo puedas entrevistar. Mm. Mm -hmm. Pero eso ya es eh, pruebas. Pruebas. Mm. Eh, sí. Ah, no, pero como. Sí, pero como estamos haciendo el perfil de todo lo que quiere. Ah, right. Eh, pero en ese sí, caso, estaríamos, eso. ahí estaríamos preparándonos para el proceso de entrevista no los requisitos del puesto sí, ahorita solo es como una conversación entre las tres de mira pero y qué debe tener ah así 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 y más o menos queda ah tal y tal ok sí vea porque está parado un buen rato we have a manager single handsome Manage. ok pero a través de la conversación ¿verdad? no es como el listar oh, nada yeah, más yeah. si no, es posible que, que una diga ah oh, ok he has to be blonde y la otra, yeah, blue eyes. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, we select, we, we make the activity. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Good. Let's go back so we can do the attendance and you, you do your okay. exposition of the factors. Thank you. You establish procedures. That's what you were trying to say. You establish, uh, establish procedures. procedures. <laughs> Procedures. Susana? Procedures. Procedures. Perfect. You establish procedures. Procedures. Okay, let's go back. Okay. That was one. Okay. Ready? Before we move on, I'll go ahead and um and do the attendance. Once we all come back. And I'll give you a break. I'm, we're gonna watch a funny video today. Okay. Well, one inspirational video. And another one, a funny video. Let me just make sure it's appropriate for all ages. Okay, we're all back and we are 16 so far. Hold on. Okay, let's do the attendance. Um, Ana Patricia Linares Galdames, not here. And Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Good. 
Ana Selmi Chévez. Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Lorde María Carballo Ugarte. Ugarte. Gabriel Ignacio Lara. Present. Bien. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Thank you. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here today. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. Present. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Ofelia Oreana Arce. Here teacher. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. It's not here today. Okay. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. She's there. Stephanie <laughs> Elizabeth. Thank you, Sandra. <laughs> Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Perez. Okay. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. She stood up. Okay. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. And Wilfredo, Re Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. There you go. Okay, so should we go in, in order or from the last group to the first group? What do you think? Remember, this is a role play. So I want to hear like, hey, what's up, Rosa? Hey, what's up? Wait, I'm your boss. What are you? What? what? Say hello. Hello, boss. I'm sorry. <laughs> Things like that, right? Okay. So let's go with group number four. Adriana, Stephanie, and Susana. Oh, but Susana stood up. Okay. Okay, let's go with group number one, and then we go with four, and then with three, and then two. Okay. So Gabriela, Carla. Nelson, I'm just going blind. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Gabriel, Carla, Nelson, and Wilfredo. He, he just lost the connection. I saw him disappearing. Wilfredo, yeah, he got disconnected. Oh my God, really? Okay, here he comes. Okay, so again, Gabriel, Carla, Nelson, and Wilfredo, ready? Let's do it. Yeah, we lost we lost him again, I think. He's getting a call, that's why he's every 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 yo into the excuse me. You got a call, right? I don't know, teacher, but I can hear you well, but I don't know what happened with my internet. But I am going to try to explain about Carla Nelson and Gabriel. They told me about their their profession and what they do. Uh -uh. And, wait, and wait. It's, now it's a role play. You have to talk to your uh, classmate. Pretend, yes. yeah, pretend that your classmate is a coworker and you are looking for a position. So you're describing the position. Okay, describe, yes. describing the person. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, okay, um, go ahead. It's yours. Yes, for example, uh, I, I, teacher, if you want, let me let me do the opportunity to start with uh, Julia. I'm in group number three. Sure, 
Sure, that's a good idea. Okay. So Edwin and Asemi, Julia and Sandra, go ahead. Okay. Um, good night, uh, Sandra and Julia. Uh, I really need to talk to you because we really need uh, someone uh, for a new position because uh, last week uh, uh, Evangelina she she quit from the job so I need you, to, you girls to look for someone who has to be responsibility and the, the, someone who does do the job can you look for someone please Sandra and Okay, Edwin, how many years of the experience do you need the, for, the, for that position, the assistant marketing? Well, um, it, doesn't have a, it doesn't have a need to have a lot of experience. At least probably two years, is, it, go, it will be good. Okay. Mm -hmm. And do you prefer men or female? Oh, female. Um, no. It doesn't matter. That what I want is someone who has who has who do the job, and you take uh uh because I, I need someone for the for the position who has to be responsibility and has to have the qualities to do the job well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Andrea, do you have the question for the Edwin for yes. this, the, uh, his request? Yes. Uh, was and, and, and please, please call, call me boss, right? No, Edwin. Mm -hmm. What? Please call me boss. No, no, Edwin. I'm, I'm your boss. boss. Okay, I'm sorry, please. boss. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, oh, boss. <laughs> my okay. boss. My boss. What I need requirements for need a person marketing. Yes, uh, uh, what I was telling to Sandra, I need someone who has to be responsible with me and has at least uh, two years working in, in telemarketing and he has a little bit of knowledge about the positions. That's what I want. It doesn't matter if it's a man or a woman. Uh, what I want is someone who has to be like um, it, it, to work uh, quickly because we need someone right away because, you know, we are retrusting some things. So... Uh, I need to, to, to girls look for someone. Thank you. Okay. That, that's uh, all. Boss, in this moment, we have a, a CV mm -hmm. with a possible candidate. Okay, cool. That Call position. Them. Okay, okay thank both. Thank because. <laughs> all right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hi, Julia. Good morning. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Oh, yes, good morning. Sorry. <laughs> okay, good morning. I, I am tired. It. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I introduced the Sandra. She is my co worker uh, co-worker in the human resources. And both we we are um, doing the, uh, your interview for the for that position. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Julia. How to me? Thank you. You're welcome. Julia, uh, we need to know about your experience in the marketing area. Okay, well, um, I was working as an assistant in my last job. I have between five years and, and six years uh, uh, working in that area. I work uh, as as assistant uh, since I leave the university. And well, I have a lot of experience because in my last job, uh, we may we made a lot of events to promote the company that I was working for. Okay. How do you describe yourself, Julia? Sorry? How do you describe yourself? Yeah. Myself? Yeah. Okay. I am a very responsible person. 
uh, I'm intelligent. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I am a high worker and I can work under pressure. So, because I have experience working, at, working in, in that uh, environment. I like to work in, I <laughs> sorry teacher. Uh, <laughs> Trabajar en equipo. Teamwork. Okay, I, I like to work. Teamwork is okay. Yes, teacher. Teamwork. I'm not okay. here. Yo no estoy aquí ahorita. Come okay. on. Keep going. Okay. 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 okay, I like to work in teams. Um, well, uh, I am patient and creative. Okay. Uh, Sandra, do you have other question for Julia? What? Uh, yes, what can, what change? Words in the moment, other, other, other employees or employees? Julia, what was the question? Why did why you decide change? Change. Yeah. The uh, company. Why am, am Why am I changing? The... Why did you decide? Uh, ah, okay. Why, why well, company. Okay. Well, uh, because I really want to grow up in the position, in the company where I was working, I didn't have the possibility to grow. I was just an assistant. Better, and, and better position? Better yeah, position. yeah, I want a better position. I want to develop myself. Okay. Uh, uh, Julia, better I'm sorry, salary? Sandra. <laughs> Thank you. Better salary? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And Julia, do you have time for the other interview with our boss? Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, I intro we are introduce him. <laughs> Boss, this is Julia. <laughs> hello. hello Julia, nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you. So uh I, I've been hearing you uh, about your experience in everything. I think you are the right person for this uh for this uh position. Um can you start uh, this um Monday? Yeah, of course. Yeah, welcome. That was that was nice. I'm very glad to, to have you here and welcome to the team. And if you have any question, you can come to my office. And remember, don't call, don't say L when you say call me boss, right? Please. Yeah, yeah. All right. I will, I will uh, take note about that. All right, good. Mm -hmm. Just one question. What, what, just one question. What are the, salaries, the salary expectations for, do you have? Yeah. What are the salary expectations? Well. I'm looking for uh, between uh, six, 600 and 800. All right, good. You will get more than that. Okay. okay. Welcome that's to good. the team. All right. Thank you. That's, that's it, teacher. Thank you. Yeah, that's all. Thank you. Uh, thank you, boss. That was amazing. <laughs> Hey man, good job. Just one thing. She she's not a cat. <laughs> it's like, wait, wait, wait. Man, that was a great example. Good job. Okay. I wasn't expecting an interview, you know, but it's clear what you want from this person. And we were able to get a lot of areas of improvement here. Super rapido. What I was telling to Sandra, no necesito la preposición to, what I was telling Sandra, oh, well, let me start from above. You don't say quit, you say quit. Quit. Como cuete. Como cuete sin ae. Quit. 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 That's right. Okay. Who has the, who has to be the, the responsibility? Okay. Uh, a person who has to be responsible. Okay. A person who has to be responsible. Assistant marketing. Ojo, muchos estamos cometiendo el error de no poner el adjetivo antes del nombre. Entre assistant y marketing, 
¿Qué, ¿Qué es un noun y qué es un adjetivo? Eso es lo que necesito que tú ya vayas adquiriendo rápido, eh, identificar qué califica a qué. ¿Y cómo hago eso? Pues rápido. Hay muchos marketings. ¿Puedo pluralizar la palabra marketing? No, ¿verdad? Un marketing, dos, dos marketings, no, se ve feo. Sin embargo, puedo decir one assistant, two assistants. Ah, pues ese es el noun. Ah, pues lo que dijo el teacher, que es los adjetivos en inglés van antes del nombre. A beautiful, tall, young marketing assistant. Todo lo que califica el asistente va antes. Ok. Good. Someone. Ajá, todo lo que, lo que califica va antes del asistente. Ok. Someone who does the job. Oh, no. Who do. ¿Cómo sé esto? Who es un pronombre indefinido y lo trato como tercera persona. De nuevo. Who es un pronombre indefinido. Si no lo vieron en básico 3. Doble guaches. Ok. Who es un pronombre indefinido y lo trato como tercera persona. Who runs, who eats, who jumps, who does. ¿Ya? Yeah? So, who does the job? Someone who does the job. Tra, tra, tra. Do you have any questions for... Ojo. Y esto un poco manera de broma, pero tampoco en español no puedo hacer, ¿eh? Porque era muletía de la compañera. Sin embargo, tengan cuidado, un recordatorio nada más. No digo la Julia, la Rosa, el Edwin, el Brian, la Yasuri, right? Cuidado con el artículo, señores. Solo le agrego la, los, ese artículo. Cualquier artículo o un nombre propio no se puede. Son los nombres comunes. Ok, so do you have any questions for the Edwin? No, no, for Edwin. Era una moletilla ahí. What I was telling to Sandra. No, what I was telling Sandra. Right? Y aquí me llega algo. Ojo. Equivocate. Edwin es un claro ejemplo de esto aquí en esta oración que decía retrasing some things. We are retrasing some things. I was like retrasing some things. Ah, lo intentó. Dije, súper bien. We are delaying some things. We're running behind. Hoy we're running behind with some things. Y de nuevo, ayer retaba un grupo pequeño. Se los digo ahora. Vean sus videos de clase. Escúchense. Critíquense. Qué gordo me miro. Me voy a parar mejor. Este en la clase, en la próxima clase, uy, man, tres papadas se me hicieron en el video. ¿Ya? Eso soy yo. De ahí, este, uy, un frijol en el diente. De ahí, como hablas, que dije, que qué dije, ni yo sé qué dije. Ok, así te vas a ir conociendo, ¿sí? Vas a intentar hablar de otra manera, vas a empezar a agarrar otro. No importa, eso es muy importante, ok. Good. So, eh, veamos, we are delaying. Let me introduce you to the Sandra. Decía, agarró muletillo, creo que estaba nerviosa. No sé, don't worry. Let me introduce you to Sandra. Let me introduce you, Sandra. Let me introduce you to Sandra. Okay. I have between five years and six years in that area. I have worked in that area for five years. Or I have worked for over five years in that area. My change, why change company? Why change company? Uh, why? No. Hi, teacher. Uh -huh. Ahí lo que tengo que hacer yo como estudiante es poner a pensar, momento, ¿qué tiempo gramatical tengo que pensar rápido? ¿Qué estoy preguntando? Eh, en español, a ver, ¿por qué te quieres cambiar? Why do you want to change company? Why do you want to change your job? Why are you leaving your previous job? Tantas cosas que podrías haber dicho. Vamos a ver. What made you decide leaving your previous job? ¿Qué te hizo decidir dejar tu propio, tu, tu previo trabajo? To grow up. Because I wanted to grow up. No, I wanted to grow up. Grow. Okay. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> la vez pasada te lo corregí, te acordás en una sesión. Nice to meet you, meet you, meet you, meet you. Y <laughs> me risita, dice que, Mish, Mish, nice to meet you. <laughs> Cabal, ok. Una bromita. What? Nice to meet you. What are your salary expectations? Your salary expectations. What are the salary expectations? What are your salary expectations? Right? Good job, good job. I'm looking for. Un consejo. 
cuando vayan a una entrevista de trabajo, no duden. Aim to the moon. Apúntenle a la luna. Ok. What's your salary expectation? Claro, será un poco realista. Thousand eh, dollars, if possible. But I'll be fine with 800. That's ok. Right? So no dudes cuando te pregunten, ¿y cuánto te gustaría ganar? According to the, the, the tips in the, for the interview teacher, uh -huh. now is better to say, ah, according to the position. Position. Or to my. Is it possible that your expectation is in? And if I meet your expectations, you could increase according my salary. Market, I'm yes. fine with it. Uh, pero eso está muy elaborado. Ojo, eh. Una entrevista de trabajo, entre más natural es, mejor. O sea, te lo dice un entrevistador. Lo que yo espero de una persona que hable inglés ya ni siquiera. Ojo, eh, 2014 se daba el problema de que muchos entrevistados llegaban memorizadas las preguntas. Así, puro robot. Y, y el entrevistador le cambiaba totalmente. ¿Saben qué hacía yo? Yo les decía, ok. okay so tell me about yourself. I'm the, and what do you do? I don't know. Ok. Y de repente, ok, how do you cook scrambled eggs? Right. Yeah, describe to me, how do you cook scrambled eggs? So, Estas se llaman, uh, oh my God, I forgot. Son preguntas para sacar del área de confort a la persona y que sea natural, que se libere y, y te hable de verdad. Y ahí sí probas, si realmente habla inglés. So, no, ojo con eso. Lo mm, no, they, they, they're called something else. I can't remember. Hey, great job. Thank you very much. Cuando le digo role play, that's what I'm expecting, okay? That's what I'm expecting. Just become, become someone else. <laughs> like Juan Gabriel, no. But become someone else. You are the boss. Hey, call me boss. I'm your boss. Come on. <laughs> Y en la no, serie no, se puso a reír. No, what happened? What happened? Oh my God. Yo dije, ya la va a despedir. Está riendo. Okay. Okay. Let's go then. Who's next? Thank you guys. Espero que nadie esté tomando esto como que ah, para reírse nos está haciendo pasar. No, señores. No, no, no. Así van a aprender. Me llega. Hay que equivocarse. Come on, who's next? I, I will say group number one. <laughs> yeah. Yes, teacher. Carla okay. Nelson, Gabriel, are you ready? Improvise. <laughs> one, two, three, action. Okay, there we go. Um, okay. Um, Carla. Okay. Um, are you ready to to hire the new position that Nelson required the last the last week? Yes, we have uh, an expert in telecommunication technician, but Nelson have uh, the detail of a skill for this new position. Nelson, please help me with your comment. Yes. Um... I have the, the in, in the area, uh, I had the resort in the in the new new candidate because they have the in the, the place, the plaza in, in, in my apartment in my department, in the position, yes. And I lost the new candidate. I'm okay, okay. Nelson. Last week we we require the human resource, but the but this position. Then uh, with Carla, we were talking about, but what skill do you need in this position? Then we need to ask for help to human human resource with Gabriel. Let me let me see with Carla if the document is uh, it is ready to to talk with Gabriel. Could you please wait one moment? Okay, yes. And it's very important that this question with Gabriel, what document need for draw out the contract for the new employee? My suggestion is 
uh, is that we should keep the same salary in the last uh, in the last employees. Uh, Gabriel, mm -hmm. uh, could you help us with a document that we need? Yes, of course. I will help you to uh, draft in the labor contract for the new person that you are uh, trying to expecting to hire. What I need is the copy of his uh, identity identity document for ID. Uh, the job uh, that is that he is going to be hired. The salary and the person for the person who depends of him or her i don't know if you're going to hire a, a woman or a man and uh, i think that that's all okay thank you wilfred do you need any information yes but i only need to ask you to nelson if um, what they what he prefers or women or man to this position, Nelson. Okay, the the candidate uh, must now in the in the lang network is the basic because in, in the in the in the area. Uh, I, I, I had to connect uh, different uh, equipment, but LAN network, um, uh, other, uh, now the, the, the candidate is, um, they have a operator, uh, a PC, uh, equipment, uh, the professional and the, the video, is in other now is the uh, the satellite in the dish e any anyone anytime is a uh, it have the the distribution or or take decision in the area because it have the the vision it know the 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 job but the but the 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 candidate is not is necessary uh, now a decision in the moment take decision in the moment uh, for example um when when i have the the use different equipment uh, the candidate have now uh, what with what with equipment is a uh, deduce is that okay nelson could you tell me if you need a person with experience or without experience because it is necessary some experience or not i need to talk with carla that because she's going to be in charge to give all training that you are going to need for the new position or the the person that you are going to need yes uh, uh, it's necessary to share the, the the experience in the area i'm okay let me let me um, let me see with carla if the if is his her department it is ready to train into a person please could you please wait a moment Okay, Carla. Okay. Nelson told me that he is going to need a person that with experience or not, but if the the hire on that is going to be contract, if they if they don't have or he doesn't have experience, are you ready to give the training for him? Yes, I'm ready. Uh, I looking for the right person for this position then. I'm okay. 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 Let me tell to Nelson that you are ready to to hire the new person. Okay. 
Thank you. Okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> okay, teacher. Man, and that was improvised? Yeah. <laughs> wow. You see, you can do it. Yes. Just don't stop. I mean, that's the way you're going to learn. Just talk, 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 talk. Awesome, guys. Hey. What's up? Teacher, uh, yeah. when um, Carla told me that she, she works like a, a content. A content a she hearing. works as an accountant? Yes. And Nelson works like a maintenance equipment. And of course, Gabriel, it is a good lawyer in the yeah, yeah, but more for commerce, right? He deals with uh commerce. Uh what was it? Um oh my god, he mentioned it. What what's the name, Gabriel? Uh, you 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 do the, the, the negotiations, right? What was it? He used the word commerce negotiations. I don't remember. Yeah, that's an amazing job. Okay, let's go with the feedback really quick. Just look at the notes on your chat. Nelson have, have mm, has, right? The details or details? Details. Um, voy a procurar seguir aplicando la maña que yo tengo de dar feedback de esa manera. Quiero que se vayan fijando lo que está, por ejemplo, si les pongo una palabra como esa, details, Lo que está en mayúscula es la sílaba donde ustedes estresaron. Y en la corrección, la sílaba donde va el estrés está en mayúsculas. Dice details. Nelson has the details. Nelson has the details. Ahí falta corregir, ¿verdad? Have, no, has. Ok, it's very important. Um, it's very important. Creo que decían sin la S. It's, it's very important. It's important. It's very important. Uh, cuando dice lit entre paréntesis, ¿qué querrá decir? Literal, right? Literal. Así como se lee la palabra, la leyeron literal. Entonces, no es sugestión. Suggestion. Suggestion. Así, suggestion. 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 My suggestion is, my suggestion is, my suggestion. Ok. Un poquito más suave. Help us. No, help us. Oye, help us. Help us. Mm, help us. Good. Esa, esa palabra. Identity. Muchos británicos, incluso los americanos por pereza dicen identity. Yes, identity. 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 La reconozco mucho porque lo ocupo todos los días. Identity theft. Oye, identity theft. Robo de identidad. Identity, identity theft. Uh, I was a victim of identity theft. Me dicen gringos. I was a victim of identity theft. Okay. The person that depends for him. Quería decir. Uh, la persona. Que depende de él. Um, I need to know the people. Let me think. I need to know if he has any dependents. I need to know if he has any dependents. Okay, sons or if he must provide food for his wife, you know, mother, whatever. So how many dependents does he have? I need to know that. Okay. Um, to ask you to Nelson. Um, let me ask you to Nelson. Ese, ese, tú, 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 la proposición tú le estoy agregando donde no va. I need to ask what he prefers to this position. To, verbo. For, noun. Entonces, I need to ask what he prefers for this position, a man or woman. Okay. Pronunciation, equipment. Equipment. Y ahí me quedó activado el caps lock. Me quedó activado las mayúsculas y por eso todas esas mayúsculas. Equipment. Equipment. Ahora, is the have the distribution or take decision in the area? The decision in the moment. Y ahí me trago un poquito. Una manera de decir esto es, the person that, that I'm looking for must be a decision maker. 
It must be a decision maker, right? Straight to the point person. Y decíamos, Nelson, is that? Mm. That's it. Nelson, that's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. Okay. Miren, aprender inglés es tan fácil como repetir continuamente lo mismo. Esto se lo he dicho a varios, varios que han estado conmigo siempre. Y eso lo digo. Ok, that's it. Hacen preguntas, lo ocupan los gringos así en natural. Hey, that's it. Está mal, ¿eh? La pregunta es, is that it? Is that it? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Ok. In charge to give. Mm. In charge of given. In charge of given. I am in charge of receiving the packages. I'm in charge of receiving the raw materials. I'm in charge of the personal. In charge of. Siempre va a ir con esa preposición OF. Ok. He are going to need a person. Ahí como que estaba un poquito nervioso. Él. He is going to need a person with da, 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 specifics. Pronunciation. Ese pronombre es bien común escucharlo como him. Se mal pronunciado. Es him. Him. Okay. Him. 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 Let's talk about him. Can you talk to him? Wait. Can you talk to him? Can you talk to him? Yes, I ready. No, yes, I'm ready, Carlita. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. And let me tell to Nelson. Um, estamos cometiendo varios este este pequeño errorcito de agregar la preposición antes. Perdón, después de say y después de tell. Estoy diciendo tú. Super rápido. Ocupo tell cuando se lo digo a una persona directamente. Tell him. Tell you. Let me tell you something. Okay. Let me tell her. Um, diferente a decir talk to. Talk to you. Talk to him. Yep. Y el say se ocupa de manera general. I'm going to say this to the students. Say that to the people outside. Okay. Sí, yo sé. Lionel Richie se equivocó y lo hizo adrede. Eso pasa mucho en las canciones. Say you, say me, say you forever, right? That's the way it should be. Está mal aplicado eso de say you, say me. Mm -mm. Ok. Ok, and finally, let's see identity. No, that's it. Ok. Ya no quiero pasar, teacher. <laughs> en el siguiente grupo, ¿verdad? Come on, guys. We're missing two groups, but one more. Ve, pues se deshizo el grupo cuatro. Solo queda Susana. What happened here? Okay, teacher. We're going to do okay. it. Susana monólogo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Ready, Rosalena, Walter, okay. Wendy, and Ophelia. One, okay. two, three, action. Okay. I Sorry, this is a commercial. <laughs> Wendy, are you there? Okay, yeah, you are there, Wendy. Okay. Hello, Wendy, how are you? Hi, Rosa, I'm fine, you? Fine. I'm going to tell you something. Uh, Walter and needs an, an assistant in the graphic design. He tell me something about, uh, about the person that he's looking for. Um, uh, he needs someone that have experience in graphic design. I I I hear I hear about him that he needs experience in Microsoft Office. I don't know if he needs a woman or a man. Um, but do you want to uh, go to the office and ask what what do he want? Because I don't take notes. And if I tell him, he's going to be upset with me. <laughs> Can you go to the office and, and ask what what do he needs about the graphic, graphic, uh, no, the design, oh my God, the graphic designer. Yes, the graphic designer, yes. Can you go to the office and, and ask him what do he needs? 
I, I don't forget, I forget that he told me the ability, the skills or, or the personality that he needs. Maybe important, uh, Walter, how many years of experience do you need the new employee? Yeah. Hello, good evening. Uh, and do you had a uh, one year experience? Uh, I need to graphic design a system. Uh, he can be a man or a woman. And I need to uh, language if necessary a uh, intermediate level um, because uh, you had experience is a uh, I just need you to have experience the rest does not matter. What idioms you need uh, the, the, the person practice? What idiom? Excuse me? What idiom or language? Do oh, you yes, need? yes, in English. English, oh, oh, English? Yes, in English, yes. And I had need uh, the people and knowledge is a Microsoft Office. If and and in what age do you prefer? Excuse me. What age? You prefer okay. the the new employee have what age okay let me see how how many how many uh, years? Ah, yes. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, 20, 20 years. It does not matter. And I need prefer the people. Uh, do you had uh, a lot of experience? Okay. Uh, and you prefer uh, one and uh, what academic level? Yes, it's a, a university. academic prepare a graphic design. The people technician the or university? Oh, for my company, uh, technician, no problem. Okay. Rosa, do, do you have yes. other question for what? No, it's okay. I I go to take notes about this and I'm going to prepare the the hope. Oh my God, <laughs> the announcement, <laughs> yeah, uh, the requirement, uh, the requirement and I'm going to, to, I'm going to the, the social media and I, I'm going to, to send the request. Okay, that's it. Oh, I promise good salary. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. 
Okay, finish, teacher. Thank you. That's it. Thank you. Okay, that was good, actually. Thank you very much. Really quick. Time's up. Time's up. Okay. Look at your chat. I find you. Estamos cometiendo errorcitos bien pequeños que son de básicos. So, eh, solo decirles, no se desanimen eh, cuando eh, encontremos áreas de oportunidad. Más bien, piensen qué vamos a hacer. Aún están a tiempo. Tienen alrededor de cinco meses. Entonces, ¿qué haces? Se los he dicho a los que han estado en sesión uno a uno conmigo. Agarre un cuaderno, mamita, papita. Ahorita todavía tiene tiempo. Agarre un cuaderno en blanco, un lapicero de minas de colores, ¿sí? Y se pone. ¿Cuál fue el primer tiempo romántico que vi? Ah, el verbo to be. Sigo diciendo, I find in you. No, I'm fine in you. I'm fine in you. I find in you. Se entiende. Un americano te va, te va a notar cuando le digas, I find. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. I okay. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Good. He tell me. He told me. Se me están olvidando los verbos en pasado. Cuando hablo en pasado. I hear about him. I heard from him. Sigo en el pasado. I heard from him. So, ¿qué me dice esto? Tengo que hacer positivo, negativo, pregunta del pasado. Simple. Positivo, negativo, pregunta. Positivo, negativo, pregunta. Agarrar cinco verbos todos los días y hacer positivo, negativo, pregunta. Yeah. Repetir, repetir, repetir. Okay. Um, I heard from him that he needs. Da, 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 da. What do he needs? Presente simple, tercera persona. What does he need? What does he need? Y luego se corregía ahí. I forget that he told me. Um, I forget what he told me. And I forgot what he told me. I forgot what he told me. How many years of experience do you need the new employee? Nos estamos trabajando con preguntas. Eh, Pueden ser los nervios. Yo sé que muchos, todos acá son capaces. Yo ya lo sé si han aguantado hasta avanzado uno, señores. Ya falta. Sí, ¿Cómo es que dice mi suero? Si ya, ya avanzamos lo más, hay que avanzar lo menos. ¿no? ¿Cómo es que dice? Y entrar en una su manera de decir eso. Bueno, how many years of experience? How many years of experience must, modales, must the new employee have? Must the candidate have? Ok. I need two graphic design assistant. Ese tú, perdón, era un número 12. Keyboard se me traba en las teclas. I need two graphic design assistants. Faltaba la S ahí. La pronunciación de could. Could. Ok. Se parecen los tres. Could. Should. Would. Could, should, would. Could, should, would. Es decir, quita la O. Y, y la L, ok, y pronunciar la D fuerte. Could, should, would. Could, should, would. That's it. Good. I need. What idiom do you need? Mm. What language. Ma Oye, que chido. What language must he be proficient? On. Ahora tampoco le voy a pedir que me hagan esto, ¿verdad? porque o sea, esto ha sido algo improvisado y, y aquí es donde tú puedes ver lo que realmente sabes al no preparar mucho las cosas. What language must he be, he or she be prof proficient on? Proficient. Proficient, 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 yeah, proficient. Okay. Um, I have need the people in knowledge is in MS Office. De nuevo, he must be proficient in Microsoft Office. He must know Microsoft, Microsoft Office. What age do you prefer the new employee have? Mira qué básica esta pregunta. What age? How old must the new employee be? How old does he have to be? How old does she has to be? Okay. Ojo, eh, no es how many years. No, how old? Uh, the people, do you have a lot of experience? Uh, does people need to have a lot of experience? What academic level? 
pronunciation, level, level. Por ahí se traba la compañera, decía level, 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 level. A technician. A technician, se me comí la T, las teclas se me traban en este teclado, pero no chicos. A technical level will be fine. A technical level would be fine. No estamos ocupando modales. Do you have a other question for Walter? Come on, acá. Do you have another? Do you have another question? Do you have another question? And again, another singular, other plural. I'm going to send the request. No, I'm going to post it. I'm going to post the position on social media. I'm going to post the position in social media. Okay. What language must he be professional? Okay. Good. Felicidades, señores. Ya avanzamos. Este día hemos avanzado muchísimo porque ustedes han hablado. Yo solo he me dedicado a hacer mi trabajo corregirles de alguna manera. Ahora, tenemos que ir agarrando la práctica de hacer esto ya con la con la técnica del sándwich, ¿verdad? Ana Selmi, excelente trabajo, súper bien, me llegó cómo lo hizo, solo vamos a trabajar juntos en esta área, mire, eh, repita conmigo, level, level, me va a decir Ana Selmi, level, level, no, 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 level, level, like this, like this, así, mire, Roselena, level. No, no, no. A ver, not like that, Roselena. Okay, Carla, level, level. Oh, listen, Anselmi, level, level. Rosa, level, level. Good. Next. Man, si logramos llegar a eso, en la clase va a estar así todo las dos horas, ok. Ahora, en línea es un poco difícil hacer eso. La única manera de lograrlo es que todos estemos en la misma página. Que no faltemos a la clase. Ok. Y eso nos va a ayudar muchísimo. Más ante, ante todo ahorita, ¿eh? Corregir áreas de oportunidad es lo mejor que podemos hacer para aprovechar el tiempo. ¿Alguna observación, eh, duda, inquietud, sugerencia? ¿Quieren preguntarle el número de cuenta al teacher para ayudarlo? Lo que sea? No, 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 no es necesario. Ok. Hey, necesito gente que hable inglés. Es en serio, viene temporada alta y agarran personal a lo loco en el call center es con solo que habla inglés. Eso es todo. Just maintain a conversation for 10 minutes. Talk about whatever. Okay. Just send me the, the resume or just text me through WhatsApp, okay? $750 a month from home. That's a commercial. And they give you the equipment. The only thing that you need is English. Okay. And I think it's 10 megabytes. 10 megabytes of internet in your house. And that's all. They send you two monitors or one. And uh, the CPU, the keyboard, the mouse. Even a piece of cable, you know, so you can connect to the router. And there you go. Okay, uh, let me see. I'm staying with Roselena, right? Ya le voy a enviar un video que me quedé ahorita. Lo voy a enviar en esto. ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta? <laughs> Estuvo tan emocionante la actividad que les quité el recreo. Yo quería ponerles un video gracioso <laughs> sobre, sobre esta temática. Mañana, lo, el lunes, lo vamos a hacer. Mañana no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Ya les voy a a enviar un video en este momento. ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta, duda, inquietud? La plataforma. Eh, nos quedan dos días para cerrar este... Déjenme ver. Sí, nos quedan dos días. Lunes y martes, por el desfase que tuvimos. Entonces, el martes ya es nuestro día 15. Para el martes tiene que estar la plataforma terminada hasta, hasta el, el midterm exam. Y una cosa más. Se tiene... Hasta el 5 de octubre como fecha límite. Déjenme rebuscar acá para inscribirse al siguiente módulo. No sé si ya les enviaron la documentación a su empresa. Sí, teacher, una pregunta. Yes. ¿Cuándo, ¿Cuándo finaliza este módulo? En dos semanitas. Ah, ok. Two weeks, two weeks. O sea, nos quedan dos semanas, Carlita. Ah, ok. Ok, 
Good guys, eh, me quedo con Roselena, ya les envío la fecha exacta hasta cuándo se tiene, pero sí, pre ayuden, ayúdennos a presionar a, a quien aporta los papeles a inglés corporativo para que ya estén inscritos al siguiente módulo, ¿ok? Y sigamos todos juntos. Ok, good night. Um, Ada Patricia Linares Galdames, Adriana Stephanie Martínez Flores, Present. Anacel Micheves, Present, Edwin Alexander Alerazo, Present. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte, Gabriel Ignacio Lara. Was here. Yep. Thank you. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. Present. Good night. Good night. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Teacher. Good night. Ofelia Reyana Arce. Present. Teacher. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present. Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Pérez. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good night. Good night. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present, good night. Thank you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present, good night. Good night, Wilfredo Guardado Riva. Rivera. Present teacher. <laughs> good night, guys. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy it. See you Monday. Good night. Monday. Monday. Enjoy your weekend. See Enjoy you. your weekend. Take uh -huh. care. See you. Bye. Hello. Hello, teacher. Let me just a second. The most difficult part of my job. But I love it. Hey. Hello. Is there something that is difficult for you and you love it? Um, something difficult. Yeah, something I that is difficult, but you do it because you love it. Mm. <laughs> uh -huh. Talking about the English, the most difficult for me is the reported speech. Reported speech? Yeah, it was so difficult the last month. Last month you you saw oh yeah intermediate yeah. six yeah yeah reported speech yes. can yeah. you give me an example of that? Oh my God, for example, my daughter tell me that yesterday she was no. I don't know. <laughs> the another no no another another plural another thing. Another thing, yeah, it's correct. Another, yeah. Another thing that I I think that I have problems with is with is the yeah. the the oh my god when you say I had I have been the present perfect. That's present, present perfect. perfect. I have been. Yeah. Okay. I think that I have problems with the present perfect, the past perfect. When you use I have have been something like that. <laughs> what confuses you is the um I don't know. Well, is the, I, the application? Yeah, the application. How because they how explained you, whoever explained you that grammar topic, uh they did it in English, right? Yeah. The whole the whole <laughs> class in English, the whole grammar in English. And it, that's not okay. Yeah, I try to understand. I'm reading and I look in Google some things. I try to understand. I have I have learned a lot this year. Translate. 
I have learned a lot this year. Okay, I have learned a I lot. I have learned a lot this year. This year. Yeah. Translate. He aprendido mucho este año. Yo he aprendido, uh -huh. Yo he aprendido, uh -huh. he aprendido mucho este año. And I have learned a lot this year. And I have learned. Y no he aprendido. Yo había aprendido mucho este año. Okay, había. Okay. I have eaten 12 pupusas. Me comido. I have eaten 10 pupusas. Me he comido. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. By the time you arrived, I had eaten 10 pupusas. Me había comido. Everything. By the time you arrived to the pupuseria, oh. I had eaten 10 pupusas already. Al momento que llegué a la pupusería, ya me había comido 10. 10. Que llegaste a la pupusería, ah, ya, me había, ya me había comido 10 pupusas. Right? Entonces, presente perfecto, una experiencia o algo que acaba de terminar. Mm -hmm. Yo he. Mucha experiencia. Uh -huh. ¿eh? Yo he hecho, yo he hablado. Entonces, básicamente no olvidar. Uno, que la auxiliar se traduce como he, ado, has. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y el verbo de, de estos dos tiempos siempre va a ir en pasado participio. Ado, he, do, ido. Ito, escrito. Eh, ¿Y cuál es la diferencia entre el presente perfecto, eh, el auxiliar y el pasado perfecto? He, has, hemos, presente perfecto. Había, habíamos. ¿Ya? Yeah. Así. Ah, like Spanish. <laughs> But... eh, de hecho, yo siempre he dicho que es muy apegado al español, al castellano. Porque nosotros en español no. Es raro que ocupemos eso. Lo decimos como yo he ido. Yeah. Yo he estado. Mm -hmm. I, I have been. I have been there. I have been there. Uh -huh. I sigo. never have. I never have been in the U.S. I have never. Yes, es otra. I've, I've never. I've, I've never. I've because I have. Uh -huh. Ajá. Never uh, I've never. I've, uh, I never. I never. I've never been ever. there. An American. A un americano si se le entiende eso. I've never been there. I've never been there. I've never been there. Uh, Frank Sinatra. I've been a puppet, a puppet, a puppet, a riot. Hold on. Upon a can. There's a song. I have under my skin. Mm -mm -mm. No. Nope. I've got you under my skin. I got yeah. you under my skin. I've got you I got under, you my, under skin. my skin. Mm -hmm. Era el soundtrack de Twins con Arnold Schwarzenegger y Daniel Vito. No, 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 pero me estoy tratando de acordar del nombre de esa otra canción. I've been a puppet, a puppet, a puppet, a puppet, I've been up and down and over and out. And I know one thing each time. That's life. That's mm. life. Frank Sinatra. Okay. That's life. Mucho presente perfecto. Okay, I'm going okay. to hear that. I love that disc, that disc of Frank Sinatra. It's just a white disc. It's, it's, it's nice. Okay, so tell me, have you been practicing with your son? Was it? Um, no, I practice only listening. Just listening? Uh, yeah, just listening uh, when I watch my series. Have you gotten yourself an English speaking boyfriend. <laughs> Have, listen to the question. Have you gotten yourself an English speaking boyfriend? How I what? Have you gotten? Have you got an English speaking boyfriend? Mm. No? No. No, se ha, se ha, ¿cómo es que sería en español? Se ha buscado, 
se ha obtenido un novio que habla inglés? To practice, yeah. of course, to yeah, practice. Yes, yeah, yes, yes, yeah, all right. Yes. I practice, I, I write with someone who speaks English and, and I write playing it. with you. Didn't yeah, I tell no, you? but it's true. I didn't tell you, right? Didn't I tell you? No. No, before, <laughs> look for a boyfriend who speaks English. <laughs> <laughs> nice, no. yes. No, yeah, but I, I you know, friends. Americans call boyfriend or girlfriend their friends. For example, I could say you are my girlfriend, just to identify that you are a girl. We are friends, but you know, okay. you are a girl. <laughs> I can tell my wife, uh, who who are you talking to? Oh, I'm talking with a girlfriend, a girl friend. Friend. Mm -hmm. I'm That's talking okay. with a, a boyfriend. A boyfriend, okay. okay. Yeah. Just to be specific, <laughs> to be specific. Okay. okay, so yeah, practice, practice, practice. And in yeah, your... I, my practice is only listening because I, I watch my series on English. And I, in, in that way, in, in, in English, in that way, I he, hear, I hear many, many words. Mm, and okay. I, and I ask me, what is that word? I ask to myself. I ask to myself, what does words mean? What does that word mean? Uh, yeah, there are many, many words that I, that I hear in, and I'm going to the dictionary and I look at the what, what's your What's your favorite topic when you listen to something? My favorite topic? I, I think that I don't have a favorite topic. Really? Like, for example, me, I like cars. You know, talking, watching videos about oh, repairing maybe, cars. Maybe for me, uh, movies. Movies? Yeah, Wait, movies. watching movies or, or listening about the reviews about the movies or? Mm, the reviews. The, oh, okay. um, talking about the actress, actresses, actresses. The, um, the characters, the actors. The, the characters. Yeah, maybe actress. talking about the, the actors. Actress, actress. The actress, yeah yeah that that's awesome okay so you you know I, I i'm trying to listen to the biography of famous people like famous singers the guy from journey bands mm. journey i was listening to the biography of freddie mercury and so on you know how they became famous famous yeah yes. that's very interesting Oh, they exactly. became famous. Yeah. Yes. Let's let's Zeppelin. Oh, nice. I have an application, an audiobooks in English. Mm. And I was listening Sense and Se Sensibility. Sense and Sensibility, really? Yes. Oh, yes. wait. Audio audiobooks? Yeah, audiobooks. Yeah, I hear I hear I hear but I sense and sensibility myself. is too long. I don't know, and it's and very... it, it's British. Yeah, it's British. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know. It's yeah. too long. When I was at the university, they they uh, the teacher, the English teacher, he tried to make us, you know, read the book. In the end, the the parcial, right, the final test was to watch the movie and then answer some questions about the movie because nobody <laughs> nobody read the no and, the novel and the book <laughs> the book yeah it's too long oh my god yeah okay i'm glad to have you back please practice if you need my support just text me okay okay, okay. or send me send me an audio if you want so i can help yes, you i'm going to do that i'm going to i'm going to record myself and I say, and I and I send you that you correct me. So you can correct me. Give me feedback. Ah, okay. Okay. Give me feedback. You can correct me. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, okay. I, I like it. I like the class. I like the class. This day, I like the class more. Yeah, there was more mass proactive. Yeah, it was mass proactive. Mass in. Uh, it was more. <laughs> oh my God! It was yeah. mass. <laughs> it was more. Um, participative yeah yes I, center. yeah we need to we need to talk we need to practice talking make mistakes That's make all. mistakes because yeah. if we can make mistakes we are never 
The teacher won't have a job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll see you tomorrow. I mean, Monday. Tomorrow, no. Yeah. Tomorrow is Saturday. <laughs> I'm, I'm tired. I'm sorry. <laughs> bye. Okay, bye. Good, good night. night. Bye.